Getting rejected as an average guy really hurts. It can deter you from ever wanting to approach a woman again, even online, even on Instagram. But you know what? Famous guys get rejected too. Just because you have money or just because you have things going for yourself, it doesn't mean that women want to deal with you because they sometimes don't. And it doesn't matter how persistent you are. If they're not interested, they're not interested. And this brings up a particular case of my man, Kai Sanat. We know what he's been going through. And we know that a lot of ladies want their shot. But here's a situation in which he got friend zone on his own live stream. Tyler puts Kai in the friend zone after asking her on a date. Zoe, would you like to go on a date with me? Um, when I... All right, goodbye. Bye. So, um, I can't do Zoe, so my only option is, um, <laughs> Tyler, would you like to go on a date with me? Are you asking me for real? Yeah. Don't do that. What you mean? Why not? Would Don't you like... do that. I'm serious. Whenever you get some free time, would you like to go on a date with me? You can't do that. On a whole live thing. Why not? It's, t it's true for there. Um, but we friends though. You're right. Yeah, we friends. You're right. <laughs> All right, uh, next one. Go ahead. <laughs> Grab your next one. Okay, let's, let's do the next one. Yeah, bro, that sucks. To get friend zoned on your own live stream must suck, but hey, life moves on. But what if you're a former champion like Adrian Broner. We all know that Adrian Broner was supposed to be the next coming of Floyd Mayweather, and he had all the skills and the talent to do so. Just too bad he didn't have the discipline. So he's been trying to get at Coyle Ray for a while, and he's been trying in the DMs, trying in the DMs. So she went live, and you know what? He tried to shoot his shot. Trying to bag me on an Instagram live is crazy like dead ass get the f on okay gone the f okay i'm not interested like that's f what are we doing here i'm going i'm getting the go look at my post i'm about to post my cover bye and for the average guy we're thinking like mm, yeah didn't turn out well he got rejected it's all bad that's what it looks like and she even felt so bad. She even said on X, wasn't trying to be harsh. However, I hope he wins his fight and many more. And a fan told her that she could have just said, no, thank you. What did she say? Honestly, I said that a hundred times. Y'all just ain't see the other 99 times, but it's all love either way. But can I get a ta 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 sound effect? <laughs> wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute, guys. Here's where the genius comes in. See, Adrian Broner knew that he had absolutely no chance with Coyle Ray, and she is very beautiful. But what did he say? He said this, now the whole world know I'm fighting at the Hard Rock in Miami May 31st. LOL, I'm a marketing genius. And you know what? That's actually true. See, guys really didn't understand what that was, but that's what happened. He got her pretty much talking about his fight for free and the rejection, which actually is probably more than she would have ever done for him if he would have got with her in the first place. Let's just assume that she wanted to really deal with him. He got to spend money on her, bring her out there, you know, spend some more money on her food, all of this stuff. You know, you know, it's not going to go somewhere. There's going to be some toxic drama going on between them and it's going to be all bad. He basically got her to do something with her big 1.1 million audience for free, which is get rejected. And then she promoted his fight and talked about his fight. Let me tell you guys something. There is actual power in being rejected. It really is. Sometimes we got to understand that women are not just to be intimate with. I, I know that guys thought about that. Hold on. I know guys have thought about that in the red pill. The only thing a woman can do for me 
is to be with me in a relationship and that's it. But I think this is where guys miss the mark. You know, as I started being in the entertainment industry, I started to notice how valuable people are just in general, you know, outside of this YouTube. I started to notice how valuable relationships are with women that you're not even dealing with. All right. Now, before maybe I just didn't know, but the last decade has showed me, hey, listen, some of the most valuable relationships you have are with people who are not even attracted to you and you're not attracted to them. Just think about something. When you want somebody to edit a video or to be a lawyer for your case or to do something for you, do you actually care about what they look like? No, you care about if that person can do the job, right? We only take it personal when we want to date that person. Instead of, hey, listen, even if you were to date them, think about it, what would you get? You'd probably not get anything from them by dating them. Let me just be honest. I have um, this one YouTube channel called the Pan-African Dating Show. So one time we had a particular shoot in which, you know, I needed to source some people. And there was a lady that uh, it, I would say extremely thick, right? But, you know, hey, listen, you know, I'm not dealing with her. She's not dealing with me. But the day of the shoot, I needed like four chicks to come. Um, and I needed them at the last minute. And you know what? She sourced them for me, you know, and, and, and I'm, I'm thankful for it for that. So, and I guess that if I really wanted to, you know, try to holler at somebody that probably could have happened also, but just having that relationship with her in a non-romantic way probably brought me more from her than I would have got from her if I was dating her. How do I know? My homeboy was dating this chick, the same one that I'm talking about. Yo, and she got this dude for so much money, bro. Like, and he didn't even get a kiss. You know what I'm saying? And she wanted money all the time and everything. But hey, me being friend zone actually helped her bring something to the platform that was great that in the video did really well. So I'm like, yo, that's smart. And this is how guys should look at it. You know, we should look at this being a whole open market that, hey, you know, a woman doesn't always have to be, you know, dealing with you for you to deal with them. They may know something. They may have something for you. It ain't always going to be dating. And guess what? Some of the things they might be able to give you could be way more worth what they could give you if you were in the relationship. I'm going to say it again. A lot of women can give you more having you in the friend zone than what they would give you if they were actually dating you. We tend to reject everything that they can give if they don't want to give what we want. No, we, we should actually see what else they have. <laughs> all right. As far as the connection to something. And then if they want to go and deal with somebody else, that would be possibly fine because you probably bet on the fact that maybe just maybe knowing what you know about the dating market now, you're probably not going to get a good return on that investment or time. Anyway, it's a different way of looking at it. That's what Adrian Broner did. And guess what? I'm going to be checking out that fight now because it is. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shady Jackson. I'm back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you to follow you. Just heard the bell. We're out.